morning to everyone present here. Uh, I'd like to thank the organizers for uh, giving us the opportunity to be part of such an important uh, conversation in today's date and time. I truly appreciate the speakers who spoke before me and I'm looking forward for the speakers who will be speaking after me. And uh, I'm excited to talk about on the topic of transforming the digital lending landscape. Implementing a lending solution in itself is a challenge. And post go live has its own set of challenges. Point one and two, these are specific ones. Ever-changing consumer preferences, the same functionality, different groups or departments in a company would like to have in a different way. Variations in the journey, a particular in a particular secured product like home loan, if you wish to collect the documents very late in the sales journey, or an unsecured product like a personal loan, and if you wish to collect the document very early in the journey, now these are very specific ones, specific variations. And if your system is hardwired, which means it requires a code change, might be difficult, may not be feasible in many times. Recreate the fundamentals of the journey. Which KYC is to be triggered for a particular product or a journey? Or what all data points that need to be captured for a specific uh, ver uh, verification? Now, these kind of something, very specific ones, but can we have a templatized version for these things? Why do we need to spend more time discussing the same things? Complexity in the policies. Can I have a triangulation of data which is coming from my bureau, which is coming from my third party API source or the data that I have captured from my OCR? Can I do a triangulation of this data and bring out some kind of meaning out of it, a scoring out of it? Or can I write a complex rule, which is a combination of and and or combination data from multiple sources? Again, if it is a, a rule written, which is directly hard coded in the system, then it becomes very difficult or it takes time. It needs a release from the delivery. Plan versus reality. The leadership team might expect to go live in say 60 days. But in actual, when it comes to the UAT, each users may have their own thought process. Each user may want a different kind of verifications or a validation to be built in. The original plan goes for a toss. TCO analysis. In a case of an on-prem solution, you would have to procure hardware, servers. You will have to think about the networking, which needs to be in place. You will have to think about the security. And tomorrow when the business grows, you also have to think about the scalability. Now, these are all the challenges and what happens because of this. Your go-to market gets delayed and thereby increasing your cost. Now consider a case you have gone live. The most important question that comes up, how do I increase my sales? Where do I find my next customer? There are three points to it. Can I collect leads from different sources? Different sources, source could be my marketplace, source could be my social media websites, Source could be my own website or my mobile app. Can I collect leads from all of these places, qualify these leads and then push into my loan origination system? Second, how do I identify and acquire more customers without actually compromising on my risk part? And the final one, instead of selling, instead of sending a very uh, common uh, non-personalized SMS in a bulk to the existing customer base saying, sir, dear ABC, you are eligible for a 
X amount of personal loan or you are eligible for a Y amount of two wheeler loan. The without understanding the preferences and the uh, the choices of the customer, this may not lead into any kind of conversion. This is where Lentra comes. We are a one-stop solution for all of these things. As the name suggests, Lentra, we stand for lending transformation. We are led by a team of people, experienced people from credit bureaus to banking to uh, technology companies. We are the fastest growing enterprise SaaS company in India. Transforming, we have been transforming the digital lending journeys for our lenders for the last four years. And shared risk of implementation adoption, which basically means till you go live on our platform, till you punch a case on our platform, the entire risk is on us. We're already the number one cloud lending platform by volumes. We started off in Pune. We now have offices in Chennai, Bengaluru, Noida, and Mumbai. We have now uh, gone beyond India and have presence in four countries in Southeast Asia and also in America. We are backed by some of the marquee investors like HDFC, MUFG, Bessemer Ventures, Dharana, City Ventures, Six Equana. This is what we do in Woffer. We are a, the entire lending ecosystem. We provide the entire lending, digital lending ecosystem. All the systems that you see in the center, these are all the microsystems. Each of these microsystems work independently with a system outside our uh, Lentra ecosystem also through API. And together, they form as a single lending, digital lending platform. And because they are all configurable API first, component based, we are able to cater to all types of se sectors, whether it is retail, business, all types of products and all types of journeys. Let me take you through briefly about our flagship products, GoNoGo. -No -Go. Now, GoNoGo -No -Go is a highly customizable workflow based journey, workflow based uh, product, wherein you can configure any screen, any field which you want to show or do not want to show, want to enable, disable anything, communication which can be sent from any stage to internal users, to external customers. Dedupe, any kind of dedupe combination criteria which can be configured, including phase dedupe. Every single stage of a typical lending journey, right from sourcing to your disbursement, is configurable. Multi bureau, as the, the name multi bureau is trademarked with us, and we are bureau agnostic. We work with all the four bureaus available in the country. This is also a highly configurable rule-based engine for us, wherein, say, for a particular customer segment or a particular salary bracket or for a particular PIN code or a state, you want to configure Bureau A. And for something else, you want to configure Bureau B, feasible. Or you say, okay, Bureau A is my default bureau. And if it goes on for some reason, my fallback should be Bureau B or Bureau C. That is also configurable. Go getter, this is our API bus, wherein 250 plus third party APIs are all pre tested, pre configured, available in a plug and play fashion, uh, including 60 over 60 plus uh, OEMs. Name a third party API, whether it could be KYC, CKYC, or it could be GST based uh, data pool, including the returns or employee provident fund, or it is a bank statement analysis, or it could be a SIN based data pooling of a customer. Anything you name it, it's available in a plug and play fashion. Cadence, 
Cadence is our data analytics tool, wherein we can push data from different sources, from different file formats into Cadence. Cadence create a 360 degree view of the customer, a single view of the customer. And from that single view of the customer, we derive intelligence. And basis this intelligence, we are able to create sense. The same example that I spoke earlier, we would be able to create offers which are very hyper-personalized. So a very specific user, we know this is the preference, this is the choices. We'll be able to create exact offers for that so that the conversion rate are higher. We can also build early warnings, early warnings rules, which can be configured in the system. BRE, which is a business rule engine, this is what we call it as a unified credit, credit decisioning system, wherein you take data from your bureau, you take data from a third party source, you can take data from your loan origination system. You build rules, your credit rules or your deviations or even your scorecard on it for different personas and execute at any stage of the workflow of the case. One LMS, one LMS is, as the name suggests, a single LMS system which can cater to all the products in the same LMS system. And the beauty of it is, from a single system, single screen, you will be able to do all the functionalities that are required in a typical loan servicing lifecycle from a single screen. We also have our inbuilt recon that is auto and manual both available. Uh, analytics, whether it is a, a near real time report that is required for the leadership team or whether it is a further analysis that needs to be done so we can provide the data to the team who can do analysis on that. Speaking on volumes and scale, as I said, we, we work with 20 odd products. This is feasible because of the configurability part of the system. 250 plus third party APIs readily available in a plug and play fashion. More than 70 OEMs part of the 250 APIs. Currently in the last four years, we have been able to get more than 60, per, 60 customers. And in consumer durable loans, uh, we have uh, more than 90% of our consumer durable loans as an STP with roughly about 8 seconds approval rate. We have about 58 million logins on our platform, disbursed over $28 billion of worth of loan on our platform. On the scale part, uh, during the brief period of of 16th October to 26th October, which is the uh, festive period, period during uh, uh, Diwali Dhanteras last year, we did roughly about 1.6 million transactions on our platform, roughly about 8 transactions per second, 1,225 API calls per second, and about 2,300 plus crores of loans disbursed just in a period of 10 days. That is the scale and volume that we work with. You can see here we work with most of the private banks, public banks, all types of NBFC, small and big. Now, why is this significant? Why is this digital transformation so significant today? India is marching towards a $5 trillion economy and earlier, if it was the lending growth primarily coming from, say, gold loan, home loan, personal loan, thereafter the two-wheeler, four-wheeler, and then the CD, the next growth is primarily going to be from MSME, Agri, Renewable Energy, because of the push from the PSL government push. Lentra caters to all of these sectors, all of these products and journeys. We are able to do this. One main reason is about our innovative process called Super 60.
what is super 60 we configure pre configure all the journeys so journey could be for example for a personal loan it could be for a e2b customer n2b customer or an n2c customer or it could be a salaried self employed or it could be any other so in a combination of all this we pre configure the journey we pre all the, all the credit policies which are pre approved or configured in the journey the third party interfaces connections are all pre available tested so all you have to do as a lender sign up with us we create a unique id for you and then we roll out this pre configured journey you would be able to start the testing immediately so that you would be able to go live in flat 60 days so that your go to market is reduced with all of these things for a very large private sector bank kcc based loans we went live in flat 45 days i'm sure you would appreciate that this is a remarkable achievement by any standards and this we were able to do because of our configurable part of our product api first component based intelligence system and the most important our innovative super 60 process now india has come a long way in the lending there was a day when the borrower used to walk up to a money lender for a loan and the money lender would ask him an exorbitant rate of interest in most likely the guy would have to pledge his wife's gold jewelry or a land but in spite of all of these things in spite of the odds stacked against him he would still go and take the loan today times have changed and lenders are now queuing up at the doorstep of the borrower willing to give him or finding newer ways to lend in spite of if there is no collateral available and just at a touch of a button now this is a 360 degree change in the way lending has happened in india i and i'm sure all of us would be very happy and proud to be part of this transformation that is happening in india today thank you Thank you.